this is Sandra. I'm here to share a quick tip. For my tip today, I want to show you how to add more color to embossing paste that has already dried. I have two backgrounds that I have created with Craft and Desert Divas Sorted Shapes 2 stencil and Ranger embossing paste. On my desk, I have my stencil, some blue painter's tape, and Distress Oxide inks, and Twisted Citron, and Wilted Violet. Here is my first stenciled background. I had mixed the embossing paste with my Wilted Violet Oxide ink, but it dried a much lighter shade than I wanted. It turned out more pink than purple. To fix this, I'm going to line my stencil back in place and ink over the dried embossing paste. To attach my stencil to my panel I'm, and to protect the areas that I don't want the ink to get on, I'm going to use some blue painter's tape. Here you can see that I am putting it on my arm. I'm just trying to get some of the extra stickiness off so that it doesn't tear my paper whenever I try to pull up the stencil. Here you can see that I'm adding tape to all four sides of the stencil just to make sure that everything is um, covered well. And then I'm going to add it to my panel over the area that I had already stenciled. You just want to kind of wiggle the stencil over that part until it just slips right in. And uh, I fuss with it a little bit longer than I probably need to, but you get the idea. You want that stencil settled nicely so that you don't get ink anywhere else than you intended for it to be. Here you can see I'm still fidgeting and fussing with it a little bit just trying to make sure that I get it right. There, now that I'm happy with it, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wilted Violet Distress Oxide ink and my blending tool and just go right over that embossing paste. And you can right away, you can start to see that it's definitely darkening it up into that purple shade that I'm actually after instead of the pink. And you can see the difference there. It's still light pink and then how that vibrant purple, the color I was intending to do. Really, the embossing paste dried it takes on that ink really nicely so you can make it as dark as you like. I'm just going over it a little bit more. Now that I'm happy with what I've done I'm going to remove the stencil and here you can see that that is definitely purple now instead of that pink that I had started with. Now you just want to remove your tape and clean off your stencil. For my second panel, as you can see, I already have it inked on the one corner, but I started off with just embossing it with the Ranger embossing paste and letting it dry without any color to it. But here's how you can get that same effect of inking, but is just again by lining up that stencil over the embossing paste and taping everything down like we did before. So I'm going to use my Distress Oxide ink in that Twisted Citron color and first I'm just sponging it on um, the corner and um, just letting it go ahead and fade out a little bit. And I think I'm going to throw in a little bit of um, Lucky Clover also for the darker green color. And there you can see there, that is what I chose, Lucky Clover. 
So I'm adding a little bit more to darken it up on that, that corner. And I'll go back in again and blend it with that Twisted Citron. Now it takes me a moment to make sure I put the stencil correctly to get all those little dots in the right place. Um, if you turn it over, the stencil over or um, use it in a different direction, they just don't line up correctly. So now I'm going to be adding my blue painter's tape just like I did before. Um, you can stick it on your, you know, your arm like I did or you can throw it on your jeans that, that you may be wearing. You can also use some washi tape for this. You do not have to use painter's tape. And here you can see I only had to do um, two sides of the stencil with the tape. I'm adding more of the Twisted Citron because I really want those embossed parts to really have more prominence so it shows up better on the card. And I'm doing the same thing with the Lucky Clover, just going over the raised embossed parts. And again, blending. And then I'm going to remove the stencil, and then you can see. So it's really easy. There is a little bit of, I guess, a white shadow, you would say, around that embossed part. So that's my quick tip for today. All the products that I used in this video will be linked below in the description box and can be found in the Craft and Desert Divas shop.